Let's talk about broccoli, friends. We'll also talk about broccoli rabe and cabbage because they're quite similar and different all at once. So I love growing broccoli. It's not the easiest crop to grow. So if you've struggled in the past and if you will struggle this year, know that you're far from alone. Broccoli is a little persnickety in our climate, to be honest with you. It really wants to grow kind of in Mendocino, California. It really wants to grow on the coast where it's very misty, foggy, not too warm, not too cold very moist. Did I mention not too hot and not too cold? So our upstate New York zone five is a little rough because it tends to be quite cold and then quite warm um, and just who knows a lot of variables in between. And certainly once summer comes, it's summer. So broccoli can be tricky. Broccoli, you want to direct, pardon me, you never want to direct so it is best as a transplant. And you've got lots of options. Of course, our favorite for transplants are soil blocks. They just grow the healthiest transplants ever. But if you only have self trays or six packs, that's great. Solo cups or other cups are great. If you just have something like egg cartons, I never recommend them. But even honestly, the toilet paper rolls that I do appreciate, I don't recommend for broccoli because there just aren't quite, an, there isn't enough soil here for it to be a really happy, healthy transplant. If you do, make it not a one inch ring, but a two inch ring, and then you've got options, but it's really not ideal. So transplanting them after they have, and this is a lettuce, but similarly, this has two sets of true leaves, and once it gets its third, then that'll be the perfect stage to harden them off, bring them outside, and <laughs> set them into our gardens. And check it out. If you haven't already, we have a whole transplant chart, which is so helpful, and it includes, of course, broccoli and cabbage and a lot of other things, too. And it's a part of Rise and Shine, Starting Seeds with These. It's our 40-page starting seed starting book. And you can get its free download on our website, fruitionseeds.com. And that free download, it's great, it's printer friendly. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles um, of the beautiful color, so you can get the, the paper on our website. Um, we have them for purchase. But this awesome transplant chart has a ton of great info. And it'll say how many weeks before frost is ideal to start them. And that is great because then you don't have to go by zone type and planting dates by zone, which is inevitably going to change in the coming days, weeks, months, years, generations. Um, and instead, this broccoli is always going to be wanted, <laughs> is going to be um, wanting to be planted anytime six weeks before frost, honestly, until August. It has a very wide planting window. So broccoli is cold hardy, so you can, even though it's a four week old transplant, from starting it indoors to transplanting it outdoors, you can start that four week clock, honestly, eight weeks before the last frost, all the way to early August, late July. So anywhere in that time frame is great. But know that the early you start, the better, because broccoli, again, wants to live in Mendocino, California. <laughs> and so the less she's exposed to the searing heat of summer, the more you'll have glorious broccoli to harvest as well. So by contrast, spring rub, broccolini, broccoli rub, rub. <laughs> they have a rose by any other name would be so marvelous to eat. This is one of my favorite vegetables. And by contrast, rapini, you want to actually direct sow. And check out, of course, on the back of our packets, is all kinds of great growing info, handy side reference um, with sowing depth and all kinds of great stuff. Um, but this, you want to be sowing basically now. It's about four weeks before final frost, so now is the perfect time. Basically, as soon as you can put seeds in the soil, if you're planting peas, if you're planting spinach, you can plant spring rob, you can plant rapini. Um, and so you'll direct sow the, these. You'll want to thin them out to four to six, four to six inches between plants and it is just so heavenly. You can also plant it as a fall crop as well. Here in zone five, we plant it in mid-August for a fall crop. Cabbage, by contrast, is again, more similar to broccoli itself, where you really want to focus on transplanting it. It will be, you'll, your life will be that much easier. You'll have that much less weeding. Um, and so by transplanting it, you want, you 
can start it early because it's frost tolerant, but it also has this wide window. So when it actually grows well in the heat of summer, it doesn't love it, but it's not as sensitive as broccoli and you will still harvest lots of delicious cabbage. Um, so, and especially if you can like grow it in the shade of corn or something, that's a fabulous way to do it. So honestly, you can sow cabbage now four weeks before final frost, um, all the way through in zone five, early August is a perfect, um, a perfect time as well. So there you have it friends, the quick synopsis on planting broccoli and her kissing cousins in your life. And where, however you sow your seeds, be sure that you're taking notes. And we love to take notes. We love to take beautiful notes. And that's why we made Across the Seasons. Across the Seasons is our perpetual calendar. And check it out. She has dates, but not days of the week. And so here's the dates. But instead of days of the week, we have years and so I'm planting this and the red winged blackbirds returned and all these fun little notes so keep in touch plant making notes all that way so today I'm going to write that we're planting broccoli and <laughs> that we're transplanting broccoli and cabbage that we're direct sowing rapini and we're direct we're planting indoors into soil blocks so these are all the kinds of little facets of information that you can take notes on and check it out at the end there's this whole section of where you can write the crop type and then all of this additional information as well so you'll write like broccoli and then it has lots of great info like a variety name and seed source and date transplanted date date it's indoor sown outdoor sown date the soil was worked how much spacing between plants pests and diseases and all kinds of other things so then it, it's wonderful to be able to look back across the years and say yes what happened in July but if you want to know exactly how you, what you learned with broccoli here it all is it's your go-to so Across the Seasons is a phenomenal way to take notes and that's just a way that so that you can amplify your abundance, take note, be vigilant, and yeah, pay attention to the patterns so that you can harvest that much more abundance in the future.